Okay, we're looking down into the space underneath the floor and looking at the side of the fresh water tank. And as you can see down here at the bottom, this hose where it attaches at the bottom of the tank is where it draws up. And uh, that draws up to the pump, um, brings the water up. Here at the top, this large hose, this is the fill tube which goes to the outside. And this tube coming out right here on the top is the overflow, which then goes back out over there. So we've got this thing hooked up. We've got the uh, accumulator tank to follow our line. We've got the hose that comes up, the water. We've got this little tee off that goes to something on the back of the trailer. I'm not sure what it is, but I've got that valve there to shut it off, just to kind of remove it from the system. But getting back over here, we've got the hose. It comes up like so, and it comes into the intake on the pump. And then out of the pump, it comes out over here. Line goes down. I have a T going into the accumulator but I just put a ball valve on it to turn it off because the problem we're having is when the pump turns on, it won't shut off. It goes in to this L and then goes towards the back of the trailer, back to the hot water heater and whatnot. And all of the faucets work, all the air's out of the line, the hot water tank is filled up and um, Everything runs great, but the problem is the pump won't shut off and we can't figure out what's uh, going on here. The intake line, all the clamps seem to be real tight. I don't think it's sucking air um, off of anything, but uh, for some reason the pump just, uh, it just won't shut off. And it did this with and without the accumulator um, being opened up. And so I don't know what the problem is. Uh, hopefully you might have some ideas. All right. Thanks.